This is a problem from section 6-3 in your book, uh, similar to a homework problem. It says here that the men's height are normally distributed with a mean of 68.8 and a standard deviation of 2.8. Standard doorway height is 80 inches. And they're asking what percentage of the men are too tall to fit through a standard doorway without having to bend. If we draw a bell curve to help us with this problem, this is 68.8. What we want to do is we want to figure out what percentage of men are basically 80 inches or taller. So 68.8 is here, 80 inches would be somewhere to the right of that. And so we would be looking at the area here. In terms of writing a probability associated with this, the notation we would use is uh, an x, since this is an x uh, normal distribution. x is going to be bigger than 80. So with x bigger than 80, what we're going to do is, uh, instead of using the table, which is what the homework in the textbook is asking you to do, we're going to take advantage of our calculators. So this is going to be a normal CDF problem. And remember the normal CDF, it takes a low, high, the mean, and standard deviation. So the low is going to be 80. Our maximum or our high number is infinity, so we'll represent that with 1 e to the 99. Our mean is 68.8, and our standard deviation is 2.8. So here's our complete calculator command. Let's go to our calculator, punch in this command. Second function, distributions. Normal CDF is number 2. I'll select number 2. We have 80, comma, 1, and then, then the E is right above the comma, and then 99, comma, our mean, and our standard deviation. Close the parentheses and hit enter, and we're going to get a very, very small probability. So let me write this down and take a look at uh, what this means. So we have this E symbol again, and remember E is raising it to whatever power comes, whatever the number comes after that power, 10 to the negative fifth power. When we raise it 10 to the negative fifth, we take our decimal point and move it five times to the left. So essentially what we'll have is that we'll have a decimal point and then four zeros and then the three, one, six, eight. So this is a really, really, really small number. And uh, there are several ways to denote this. We can put 0 0.000, or we can say 0 raised to the plus power, or 0 plus. Uh, but what we, what we don't want to do is put exactly 0. So I don't want you to use this notation because this is not 0. A 0 probability means it's impossible. And this is not impossible because clearly there are people that are over 80 inches tall. We don't want to just say zero. We can say 0, 0.00, which means it's really close to zero, but not exactly zero. Or we can say zero plus, which means the same thing, but we don't want to put exactly zero. So we have a really small probability of people, of men, who have to duck under our standard doorway. Let's go to the next problem. If a statistician designs a house so that the doorways have heights that are sufficient for all men except the tallest 5%, what doorway height should we use? So for this problem, if we continue to use the normal distribution, as if it was a normal distribution, we get 68.8. We want the tallest 5%. So this is the tall end over here. So we essentially want to find out what this value is so that this area is 5%. So if the tallest is 5%, that means this cutoff height here will leave a 0.95 area on the left side, or 95% of the population will be smaller or not as tall as this cutoff height. So whenever we have something like this, we're going to call on the inverse norm function. So we're looking for an x value, which will be equal to inverse norm. And remember, the inverse norm function takes the area on the left side. So the area on the left is 0 0.95, 95%. And then we include the mean, 
and the standard deviation and that's what we're going to put into our calculators so let's put that into our calculators and see what we get again we're going to say second function and distributions we're going to look for the inverse norm which is the third one I'm going to hit 3 and then we're going to put 0.95 comma and then 68.8 comma and then 2.8 as our standard deviation parentheses enter and we get 73.4 let's just call it 73.4 so we can make a conclusion here and say that 5% of men are taller than 73.4 inches okay so that's how we can make our conclusion and this is how we can find these probabilities or finding the z values or the x scores okay i hope that helps